right, you guys, I'm on my way to Target. Yeah, they had some cute little stuff on this little $3 aisle, but I'm still getting my decor ready for Christmas. I think I want my theme to be known, so I'm looking for that. But that $3 aisle section have some cute little stuff. And then I know every year, me and my kids, we always get pajamas for Christmas Day. And I was looking through these, but I was like, each set is like $25. I think one year we got all our pajamas from Five Below, so... Yeah, you know, I try to spend my money wisely, honey, because we only wear them for that one day and then just wear them loungewear throughout the year. But I was looking for some cute pajamas for all of us to wear on Christmas Day because y'all know your girl do the most. right here would not let me be great every time they saw me take out the camera they was just all up in the business so I had to go to another aisle because I saw this cute gown and it's from the brand pink but it was in Target I was like come through Target Target be having some cute little loungewear and pajamas and ropes and stuff so yeah I call myself coming in here when I think nobody is in here it's like 9 almost 10 30 I'm like, where, where, where are all these people at? Why they ain't in church? Well, I, I didn't make the church either, but still, I thought I was coming in here because it'd be less people, but good God. Yeah. Uh, here we go like that. Uh. Yeah. I'm on the hunt, you guys, for a white comforter. I want like a white comforter and like some gold and white pillows. What y'all think? Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about this one. And it's only 60 bucks. So let me know what I should get. Yeah, I tell you, I get so sidetracked. But I was looking at this because I want one of those shower heads that you can pull down from the thing. Not the one that just sit up there. The one that you can, you know, put across your back and all. I can't think of what it called, but that's what I'm talking about. But it was like 40 bucks. So I was like, I thought I saw it somewhere else cheaper, but. I don't know. Then I was looking at like a stool, a softer stool, because the one I got, especially in my guest bathroom, it keeps coming loose. And I was like, maybe I have my uh, maintenance people to get me another one. But I want a softer one because yeah, I just don't like stuff hard on my behind. But anyway, I'm just browsing, y'all. All right, you guys, so listen. If you don't have any other essential oils in your house, get the peppermint one and lavender. Lavender is good for relaxing, sleeping, that kind of stuff. Peppermint, if you got like a headache or something, put this essential oil in here and I have the perfect little one for you. Here's a super inexpensive one. And this one even comes with the peppermint. So I highly recommend this one. It's very inexpensive, you guys. So get up on them essential oils, you guys. I'm telling you, I use essential oils in my house for a lot of things. All right, you guys, listen. A fun fact about me, I hate ironing. So I'm looking at steamers. Y'all let me know if y'all steam iron y'all clothes. Let me know, because your girl over here, I hate ironing with a passion. And I see this cone there. I think I'm gonna look on Jackie Ina because she's the queen of steam and stuff. So y'all let me know in the comments if y'all use any steamers because your girl is on the hunt for one because I, I do not like ironing. All right, you guys, so I'm on the organizing hunt. I'm trying to do like my, get some more organization beans for my, my, my um, kitchen in the refrigerator, like under my kids' sink. So I love the bright room beans. Let me show y'all. I'm thinking 
thinking about is like something like this for my my um spices because y'all my spices is running over like it's coming out the door <laughs> I'm thinking about something like this or i was looking for something like to put my perfume because y'all know i'm building my perfume collection many to choose from you guys okay, they got the pantry one oh it's like I'm ready to go home and clean because I got some good stuff you guys so y'all just stay tuned Y'all let me know in the comments. Y'all know y'all my sunshine. Y'all give me y'all ideas. I, I appreciate y'all um, ideas. All right, you guys. So I'm looking at the deodorants. I'm trying to see what do they have different that I have not tried. Because y'all know a lot of deodorants keep the girl musty. So Dove has been my friend. And Native is the only natural deodorant that I've found that really works. So... But they have some new stuff. You know how you get excited about new stuff? You be want to try it. So let's see here. Let me try some. Native is really coming out with these scents. This is toasted marshmallow and vanilla. Mm-mm. No. Sweet peach. Oh, sweet, now sweet peach and nectar. Ooh, that's good. No. Think a spice eggnog. It smell like eggnog, but I don't want to be walking around smelling like no food. I'd be hungry. Now this is where I go to get like some of my face mask and eye mask, all that good stuff. And it's like two, three bucks, you guys. So if you want to build your self-care collection so you can pamper yourself at home, check out this aisle in Target. All right, you guys. So I have finished. I will show you guys my haul once I get home. All right, you guys. So I have made it back home and I'm going to show you guys my Target haul. Got some goodies here. So going in no particular order, I have some scrubbing bubbles, which I can't wait to go clean my bathroom. Y'all know I've been using scrubbing bubbles for years now. Um, got some new uh, pumpkin latte. Y'all know I love, love, love pumpkin latte. I had it last year. And then this year, I decided to get the three wick candle. Y'all know it's a limited edition, so if y'all love the pumpkin latte, make sure you go grab it because after probably December, you ain't gonna be able to see it no more. But got that. Then of course, y'all know I told y'all, if y'all remember a couple of shopping vlogs back, I showed y'all I wanted to try the Love Beauty and Planet Watermelon and Hyaluronic Acid Hydrate and Restore Plant-Based Body Washed. When I tell y'all this stuff smells so good, Oh, it smells so good. I can't wait to go take a shower. It's like I want to go take a shower now just to try it out. So, got that. Then, y'all know I've been looking for Dr. Bronner's baby unscented soap because I want to try it out because Dr. Bronner's the body wash, they're a little too harsh for me. So, I wanted to try the bar soap um, just to see how it will do. And I'll keep you guys posted, but it's the baby unscented pure castor bar soap by dr Bronner. so i'm gonna try this out and let you know how i like it and y'all know how i feel about this curl blueberry mint scalp treatment y'all this stuff if your scalp itches a lot this stuff right here it's got that little tingling sensation on it i can't wait to use this today because my scalp and y'all know when you get braids your scalp be itching like something fierce so I can't wait to try this out. I'm gonna try that out. And then I got, I was, I told you I was stocking back up on my self-care 
Y'all know Olay, the hand mask that I got a while back. Be my honey, nourishing honey mask, cruelty free. I'm gonna put that back in there. And then of course I got a do-rag because when you got braids to tie your hair down, it really helps it. So I got one of these. And I've been seeing a lot of people talk about these right here, the tongue scrapers. I think these are, yeah, disposable ones. So I got 30, it's 32 in the pack. So can't wait to try these. And then more self-care stuff that I can't wait to use. Y'all know I always tell y'all the, the winter months are the best time to work on your feet and get them soft. So I got the Ultra Dr. Scholl's Ultra Hydrating Foot Mask. Uh, repairs and softens rough and dry skin and it's got with a blend of essential oils and urea oh can't wait to use that one and then i saw this one the one that gently peels and softens so i'm gonna definitely use this one because this is the perfect time to use it because your feet start peeling after a couple of days and then y'all know the last time it was like my feet was peeling like a whole week because even when i went to get a pedicure they was like why are your feet peeling so much and i was like i thought it was over with but my peel is not done. It peeled all the dead skin off, you guys. My feet was so soft. So if y'all have not tried these little peels and Dr. Scholl's foot mask, y'all know I always talk about Aveeno, but this is another good brand. So super, super excited to use these. And of course, because I'm not cooking today, I got my favorite sub by Jersey Mike's Chicken Philly. So that is my haul, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it encourages you to go out and try some of these new products. And I'll talk to you later. Be sure to subscribe, you guys. Hit that like button. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you've purchased lately, if you've used any of these products.